Hey guys, it's One Out the Tiger, and I'm bringing you a game of domination on jungle. And I'm gonna just talk about the gameplay just a little bit, and then I'm gonna get into something else. Now, what I've got here is AK-74U. Um, I'm gonna use I'm using lightweight, steady aim, and hacker. And this is sort of my tryhard pants class. You know, it's my rushing class. And um, I had a lot of success rushing up until this game, and this game really kind of put me in check. Um, but what I want to talk about is that this game is just a little symbolism for um, my life in the last couple of days. Now, I don't mean that to be like so melodramatic, but um, basically what I mean, as you're seeing, every time I make some sort of hard charge advance, I get mowed down. And But the, the, the theme of this is that even though I'm, I'm having such adversity in this game, I do persevere. So... I do pull out, we pull out a win, and I pull out a positive KD, even though it starts out just disgusting. Now, how is that a symbol or sim a symbolism for my life? Well, I mentioned the button mashers in my last video. Now, they have some requirements. They want, um, they want a um, watermark, and then they want an introduction into their videos, which is something that they've put together. Now, the the the, inter in the, the introduction is not really a problem. Um, the only problem we have that we had at that point was I'm on a Mac, they're on PCs, and they're sending me the Windows Media files, the WMVs, which I can't access. And so I got them to uh, send them me a QuickTime file, so an MOV file. Um, the problem is, is that I didn't have QuickTime Pro, so I couldn't save the file. Um, so then I had to buy QuickTime Pro, so it's like 30 bucks. Um, I got the intro, the, the intro. The problem is, is it won't drag and drop into iMovie. So I'm like, great, I got another problem. Plus, iMovie doesn't do layers, so I can't do um, the, the watermark that they want because, well, it's very simple because iMovie won't do layers, and that's what I've been using to make these videos. Um, so then what I did is I went out and I downloaded the trial version of the Domi Premier Elements uh, 9. Now, I'm trained on Final Cut Pro, and I'm trained on Adobe Premiere Pro, but when I moved to my from my PC to my Mac, I lost all my Adobe software, um, and so obviously I lost Premiere Pro. So I went and got the Adobe Elements, um, of course, because it was a trial version. It had a, a big, you know, Adobe Elements trial all across the video. Um, so then, you know, I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to be making these videos. I'm going to want to put some quality into them. I'm going to want to render them high HD quality. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy the thing. So it was a $100 program. It's like a $20 rebate, $30 rebate, or something like that. So I'm going to get some money back out of it. And eventually, hopefully, maybe I'll make money off it. I don't know. We'll see. But I get the program. I, you know, go and I make the video. No, the, making the video is the easy part, you know, and I commentate the video, and that's the easy part. And then comes the exporting. Well, the export feature on Premiere Elements is grayed out. I can't access it. All they have is, a, is this funky little share button. Well, I go to the share button, and basically the share system is, is designed for um, Blu-rays and making DVDs and not exporting into certain formats. So what I did is I, I exported the video first time uh, an MPEG format because you were supposed to be able to export into an MPEG 4. Well, it doesn't let you do that. Um, it exported it out to a .mpg, which is an MPEG format. However, it's an MPEG format for Windows. I can't open it with QuickTime. QuickTime doesn't recognize the file. And so then I was like, great, I can't even check my work. I have no idea how good these renders are. Um, so I tried another one. I think I did a QuickTime render because they have that option on there. And when I looked at the QuickTime render, it was just disgusting. And so I'm just going to jump into the gameplay here. I changed my weapon, obviously, because I'm having a bad time. Um, so I always change my weapons when, when I'm having a tough time, you know, to see if it changes my, my luck any. And it does, so there. So the QuickTime file looks disgusting by comparison to what iMovie puts out. So I'm like, I don't like the fact that I just spent 100 bucks on a program that gives me files that look disgusting compared to what iMovie does. I just wish iMovie did layers. Now, if you guys know, if you guys know if iMovie does layers, please let me know. Um, I mean, I already have... You know, Premiere here, and it finally worked. But I like that. I was like, "Get turned on, buddy." Um. So, anyways, 
Uh, all yesterday, I spent googling stuff. I looked stuff up. I was just, you know, I was a maniac trying to find out what the hell was going on because um, then, I, oh, I tried different versions because someone was like, oh, try the H.264 format. That'll do uh, MPEG 4s. And um, so I did that. But then it rendered it out to a .m2t format. And I didn't know what that was. And then, you know, that required a separate other player to render that um, or to convert that to an MPEG 4. Um, so basically, I was having a really tough time. And I was really concerned because the the um, button mashers people, they wanted a video within a week of getting the email. So I had six days, so five days now to get a video out to them. And I really, really want this opportunity. And so last night I sat down, I talked to um, this guy Gary. Or Jerry, I'm not sure. I think it's Gary, though. Um, he, he, I told him my situation. I said, hey, look, I'm still having problems. And I love how I walk through that freaking Nova gas. Um, I'm still having problems, but I, but I want to be in the program, and I really hope that if I can't get a video out to you guys within the week that you'll keep me. And he said, you know what? Hey, look, you'll, we'll work it out, you know. So they're cool. That's, that's nice. You know, that's what Rex told me is that they're really cool people, and they'll work it out. And this is the part of the game where things start to look up for me. And so basically um, what I did last night is I was Skyping with Rex and we were talking about it. And, and if I haven't told you, Rex is one of the directors over at the Button Mashers and he's somebody I met on Huppet. So we started chit-chatting and I get shot through the <laughs> little um, pier there. And um, so we started chit-chatting about that. And one thing I found out... Um, or well, actually, when they found out, is that you know he he's a pretty computer computer savvy person. I'm not. I mean, I'm a technical person, but I'm more of a mechanical person. I can figure stuff out mechanically. Um, oh, and right here, when that sentry gun, this is just a little tip. N this is knowing the map. This is map knowledge. There's only three ways they can get out. So we got them trapped back there in the sea. They can come out by the riverbed on the backside, by the pier that I died on, this way down the riverbed, or by that bridge. So I'm covering. You know the entrance to Riverbed, and I got triple spread. And this is where this is where I start to really enjoy playing this game. <laughs> um, but anyways, what I decided, you know, Rex and Rex and I did this thing where I was able to show him my screen, and he goes, "Okay, we'll go do this. Look at this. Click on that." And we we're sort of going through all these advanced options, and you know, some of this stuff is kind of coming back to me. Um, but it's still, it's been a long time since I've had to really get into video formatting and, and all this stuff. So it was kind of one of those, like, ooh, this is familiar, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. So, that being said, um, I finally decided to render it out one more time, and it gave me the, you know, I rendered it as a highest quality as I could, and it was a 1.12 gigabytes of video. And so what I do is I decided, hey, I'm just going to try and upload this so I can test the quality. And I uploaded to YouTube. It took like 90 minutes with my connection. And to my surprise, the video looks awesome. It looks just stunning. And so I'm totally stoked. You know, my problems are over. Um, all the stress that I had the last couple of days is gone. Um, I sent them, I sent my first file movie in, and so hopefully within the next couple of days, it'll be up on the button masher. So I call in the victory like I do often. Um, I go 24, 13, and, you know, like I said, it's sort of adversity. So um, I'm going to talk over the video just a little bit, but you guys take it easy, and um, I'll talk to you in my next video, and I'll be sure to, when I get that button masher's video put up, I will put the link out there for you guys, okay? So take it easy. Peace.